Hey there, hope you're all doing okay today. Um, I have a fairly extensive project going on that I need to finish before people get home. I am changing the strings on the new mandolin of a friend of mine, the Reverend Kelly Murphy Mason, who is being installed as the uh, pastor of the Unitarian Universalist Church of Wellesley Hills. But so here, here's my mess. Uh, let's see, this one, this one right here is hers. And, uh, you know, one thing leads to another and then things get bigger um, in the world of projects, which I think you know. Um, this Sunday, we're actually going to talk about seeking transcendence. Um, the, the sort of, the, as human beings, we, we do our best to try to get out of ourselves a little bit and, and find ways to connect to whatever it is that we feel is greater than ourselves. Um, you know, it's part of the human urge. It's been going on forever, well before the religions that we know. Um, you know, just trying to make sense of the world around us as we move through it. Last week, we talked about cathedrals, which is a particularly Christian and, in fact, specifically sort of high church Christian way of, of seeking that transcendence. But um, on my trip to England, we also went to stone circles. Um, which are much, much, much older, and yet manifest that same that same urge of of, of understanding um, and understanding our place as people. One of the things that works for me seeking transcendence is, in fact, playing music. Not very well, but I enjoy it, which is you know um, the sort of way that I try to focus on things that are less every day. Because of course we all get busy and we all get worn down by our projects and our tasks and um, and and just the state of the world which many times doesn't feel that great so that's what we'll be talking about this Sunday um, last weekend was super busy I think I think we all did all right and this weekend coming up there's more things to do um, there is of course the cleaning at the church um, on Saturday afternoon and in the morning there is the family family promise walk which we do every year and uh, and that's a good time as well but anyway I have a reading for you it comes from Philippians um, just give me a second here and uh, it's short and I think many of you will in fact uh, recognize it once once we get to it hang on So here we go. This is from Philippians, Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and the God of peace will be with you. It's short, but it gets to that idea of how we seek the transcendent. And a lot of it is a practice. It's an exercise of, of thinking about bigger things, thinking about each other, thinking about humanity or the earth or creation or society um, as a whole and how we interact with it. So I know it's a big topic, I know I'm not being terribly specific at this point, but uh, that's sort of the way it is. I mean, in many ways, this is a topic that we address many times because there's so many aspects to it. So anyway, I hope to see you in church. And uh, until then, uh, you know how to get in touch. Bye.